Tonight, new video shows the moment someone crashed their motorcycle into a man during a race in Bell Buckle. WSMV's Sharon Danqua spoke to people who were shocked as that motorcyclist sped off. Now we want to warn you, this video may be tough to watch. It happened right here in front of the Bell Buckle Volunteer Fire Station. People in the area tell me they had to jump out of the way as they watched a motorcyclist speed up and fling a runner into the air. It was devastating to witness. Kim Smith says it all happened while she and her son were watching people run in the Bell Buckle Moon Pie Race. And all of a sudden, we heard the sound of a motorcycle. And she isn't the only one. Rachel, a nurse, also watching the race, says she started wondering if something had gone wrong. A few of us noticed two motorcycles, and they were speeding. And so people started kind of freaking out and pushing people out of the way and throwing their kids off the street and just like everybody get out of the way. In this video, you see people running when all of a sudden a fire truck starts blocking off the road and a police car speeds past them. And my son said, how did he get through? Police say two men on motorcycles had just broken through the race barricades and started speeding towards the runners. One of the motorcyclists went around the fire trucks and gunned his bike right into that gentleman that um, was hit. A woman originally filming the race caught it all on video. You can see a man being thrown up and falling off to the side while people rush to help. Rachel was one of them. I said, please just give me pulse ox, give me uh, blood pressure cuff, stethoscope. I need to listen to him. So I listened to his abdomen, trying to hear anything, and I took his vitals. And biggest thing was just looking him straight in the eyes and reassuring him that he was going to be okay. Police say the crash severely injured the man, but while crews rushed him to a nearby hospital, officers started looking for the motorcyclists that just sped off. Just, I hope that they're caught. I hope that they're caught and that they'll, I mean, I pray for them to realize they need the Lord and, and that they will treat other people differently. Bedford County investigators say they've identified one of the two men, but we're still waiting to hear of any arrests. In Bell Buckle, Sharon Danqua, WSMV 4.